month ahead brings energy and inspiration for creative or joyful pursuits, dear Capricorn. The sun begins its transit of your solar fifth house, where it will stay until May 20th, encouraging play and self-expression. You're motivated to express yourself in unique ways during this cycle, and you're a little more willing to take chances. You're likely to pay more attention to personal hobbies or recreation and entertainment. To help make the most of this transit, aim to tune into your needs for entertainment, self-expression, romance, hobbies, and creative outlets. Your urge to create and share is powerful. The moon spends the day in your communication sector, stimulating your curiosity and your need for light and easygoing exchanges. You're more emotionally invested in your ideas, beliefs, and intelligence, or you have a stronger need to be heard. Take any chance to heal, repair, and nurture good relationships with others and yourself through communication. The indecisive Pisces Moon Neptune conjunction caused some confusion during the night, muddling your dreams and leaving you a bit scattered and confused upon waking. Give yourself some time to adjust as you switch gears from what you experienced in dreamland to reality. Ease into the day with a comforting cup of coffee or tea as you slowly come to realize that most of the bad feelings you woke up with were only the result of a bad dream. Despite the influx of bad headlines lately, reading or watching the news can actually be encouraging if you focus on the feel-good stories. The sun enters luxurious Taurus early this morning, reminding you that you deserve to experience the good things in life. You still have responsibilities to tend to, but when the most important things are crossed off your to-do list, it's time to indulge a little. Plan to cook a gourmet meal or have your favorite food delivered tonight. The moon goes void of course late this afternoon and remains in a directionless holding pattern until almost midnight. What does that mean for you? You get to take the rest of the day off. Of course, we all have things to do and goals to accomplish, but this isn't the ideal time to start anything important. If you have work-related stuff to accomplish, try to get it done before nightfall. Your evening hours are best spent relaxing and not making any major decisions.